Hey guys, Xpaw here with practically no preparation. I'm going to jump straight into this tutorial. Um, today we're going to be doing some motion tracking. Um, yeah, so we're going to be doing some motion tracking. Um, I was doing a project for Phase Gotar, uh, just a little one clip edit. I doubt we would even upload it because of the fact that I probably won't make it look that great. But anyway, you've probably seen the effect just before the video. This is the effect that we're going to be making in this video. This is the exact effect because I'm going to copy what I've rendered out from this tutorial trip stick at the beginning. I'm trying to be fast because I know motion tracking does take a little while. So first I'm going to go into my music, editing things, um, quick four cinematics, Call of Duty 4, then we're just going to quickly skim through, um, moving with character, maybe we should try a motion track with character in it. I've never done this before, so I'm learning with you. Um, yeah, so let's get this on the roll. Right, there's a, uh, oh, it rotates a bit. What we want to do is, I'm trying to get a simple cinematic. Because right now um, I'm not too good at rotating text and stuff with, uh, you know, yeah. So I'm just going to go through here. Um, blow up car, nah. Yeah, no, I don't know. We're going to go for trying to find a good uh, cinematic for you guys. Maybe triple shot. We'll have a little look at that in a minute. If I can't find something better. Moving cinematic without character. Let's have a look. If this is moving down, then I'm not going to do it. It sort of moves across very fast. Well, since I want it to be a quick tutorial, I'm going to do it on this free set clip. Um, as you can see uh, on this, it moves from the right of the screen to the left of the screen. So, to motion track, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to find where well, you can first see what you're going to motion track. I'm going to motion track right there because that's quite a good point to motion track. So I'm going to drag here, grip my text, I'm using font adobe gothic something so now we're going to do we're going to do pour we'll do that, yeah um, not right now I'm not going to make it look nice, add cc lens to the text but I will just draw that sometime it's nice to keep things simple sometimes then we're going to go here we're going to go tracker, we're going to go track motion uh, this is a track point uh, sorry if I'm doing a bit fast, just make sure if you can't see this, you're going to go view, you're going to go window and what you have to do is click tracker and anyway, uh, you then click on that, click track motion and then you get this so you want to drag this, oh, I'm going to drag this onto a, a point that is sort of memorable um, so I'm going to drag it sort of just there in between those brick lines there uh, keep it like that uh, get Skype messages, but I'm going to ignore them for you guys that's right, and then um, just close that and then if you scroll down or you look down, there should be an analyze here. You want to hit analyze forward. Um, right now my track point is staying on that corner, as you can see. Sometimes it doesn't stay on the corner, there's not much you can do about that. You can try reanalyzing it and sometimes it will sort of realign itself. Sometimes it won't. And then once we've done that, um, enough of you can just pick a different track point, obviously. But once we've done that, we want to go layer, layer, new and no objects and then we're going to go here back onto the tracking window we want to go edit target you're going to click layer no one and then click ok and then you're going to click apply down here and you're going to click yep make sure the dimension is x and y and then you're going to click back on the composition and we're just going to go into the clip and then there you go so what you want to do now is put put your text around about where the no object is so where you want to stay and then you just sort of here you can see like a little uh, spinning thing you just sort of drag that onto null and then that should if done correctly when we render it out look at that, that nice little bit of motion tracking then when this thing goes off because I didn't because I wanted this to be fast I didn't motion track what happens off the screen so I'm just going to find as soon as the text stops being motion tracked which is about there and I'm going to click edit split layer delete the rest of that layer edit split layer delete that there and there you go uh, just sort of got a nice little motion track going on there uh, nice and simple uh, you can add in whatever you want music um, you can sort of add in other cinematics that maybe pop up afterwards you can add in absolutely anything uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, this is very basic uh, motion tracking, maybe I'll do a more advanced one with pictures, images, cinema 4D, boju that's going to take a lot longer so now we're just going to go, I'm going to go here quickly here, the montage song is going to quickly shove on the track uh, I like that song, so I'm just going to shove that there and then just drag it halfway through, just give you guys a little motion track and then here you go and then maybe 
maybe if you wanted to make that a bit longer, but I'm not going to do it now, I could render that off, add clicks to it, or enable time remapping and make that go by a lot slower, and make that cinematic a lot longer. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, I'll render this out, it's at the front of this, and uh, yeah, bye, this has been Paul with Poor Edits, a 5 minutes to motion tracking, to be honest, that's a record. Love you guys.